describe uh, what it means to play syncopated drumming? What, in essence, is syncopated drumming? Uh, wow. I've, I've never had that asked of me. and it's been an infection for me for 50 years. And everybody in the audience is like, what is this? I cannot go through life and not play in this drum corps. <laughs> it was the baddest feeling in the world, man. <laughs> The nucleus of what we did came out of Long Beach. What Marvin did with the band, the Rose Bowl, you know, the, you know, uh, parades and such, and television and that type of thing, we became very known to the point where, even in the mid '60s, we were hearing East Coast drum sections going syncopated. You know, I like the term syncopated drumming, but how would you describe it? A high sticking that we had the twirling of the mallets and bass drummer doing the crossovers and other sections didn't do that, you know. And that's what syncopated drumming is to me. It just has a soul behind it. I can give you a, a sample of what it sounds like. <laughs> wanted to put on a show because we thought we were bad. What was hip about coming up through the marching band as well, so I learned how to read music, you know. It really hit me, it's like, wow, this is much more serious than I thought it would be. And, and the way the chicks were reacting, I was just like, all right, I'm in. They felt us. They felt us at least, I mean, not just hear us, they felt us at least a block away. I say this with, with, uh, with pained heart, but the hunger that we had back in my time to play syncopated drums is not around anymore. Old syncopated drummers, you can hear it, and it was like uh, a war cry, you know? And it's like, wow, they're playing. And I'd go down there and I'd watch them. But now, you hear them, and it's just, Ah, it's so sad. It's just sad. Without it being in the schools, that was the, the beginning of the, the kiss of death. You know, when it got taken out of schools in the 80s, it's been doing this ever since. I'm hearing little spats here and there of, of people who still want to do it. We don't care what the people say! They're traditional uh, cadences that I'm sure they've been around a long time, and though I would be ashamed to not hear them any longer. I know, like he said, that different generations just want to take it to the grave. I, I, I'm not like that. You know, I want to share it. You know, because for the the fact that we want to keep this style of drumming going on as long as we can. We try the best we can to keep it like it was back in the day, and keep the duplication going. Christ, I think I think it ought to be a law. I think everyone ought to have to do a year on drums. You know, in the last 12 years, do they have the drive to keep it going? I don't know, maybe one or two. But, you know, that's all it takes. Is your dad still watching you when you're drumming? Yeah, yeah, he enjoys it a lot. As being one of the last bands in Long Beach to perform syncopation, really of all America, one of the last bands, very few left that perform syncopation. As long as we're here, syncopation is never gonna die. And that's gonna be a long time. You ain't getting rid of us, rudimental. <laughs>